Parents do everything to make sure that their children have everything they could need. A lot of time and effort are put into raising kids, but the exhaustion is often compensated with love. And as our parents grow older, we are expected to take care of them in return. Before we continue, please take some time to subscribe to Daily Dose, like, and share this video with your friends. When Maria's health started to deteriorate, all her children assured her that they would take care of her. But they left her in a nursing home and eventually stopped paying for her stay there. Maria was puzzled when she got a notice that she had to pay or she would be evicted from the nursing home. Her children were supposed to be in charge of her finances, and she knew she had enough to last her for a couple of years in the nursing home. Maria tried calling her kids one by one, but nobody was answering. She suddenly realized that her children had taken her for a fool. She was furious. How could her own kids do this to her? They had to pay. After having trouble contacting her children, Maria decided to go directly to her lawyer. She wanted her lawyer, John, to check her savings account in the bank. After a few hours, John called back with bad news. Her money was gone. John told Maria that she gave her children the authority to manage her finances, and every withdrawal they did from her account was legitimate. She had to contact them because there was nothing more that he could do from his end. Maria could not believe it. All the money that she and her husband had saved up for their retirement had been drained out. What was left was not even enough for a month's stay in her nursing home. She tried calling everyone again. Nobody was picking up. Maria left voicemails for her kids, but a few days passed, and she has not heard a single thing from them. Maria was sure at that point that her kids were ignoring her on purpose. She felt betrayed. She had no idea where to go or who to ask for help. Maria asked her nurse, Wendy, for help finding her kids through social media. They soon found out that all her kids were enjoying a luxurious vacation out of the country. Mary now knew where all her money went. In a desperate effort, Maria decided to go to the cops and ask for help. However, her health was so bad that she can't make the trip herself. She had to use a wheelchair. Wendy told her that she would make the arrangements and that she would accompany her. The next day, Wendy wheeled Maria to the police station. They were led to the desk of one of the detectives on duty. Maria told her story and the detective immediately pointed out a problem. Maria legally signed a document to give her children access to her money. The agent was about to send Maria away, but what he did not know was that the police captain Mike happened to be behind him and that he had overheard most of the story. Captain Mike told Maria and Wendy to come over to his office. Maria told Captain Mike that she had a wonderful retirement with her husband. When her husband passed away, her children told her they would take good care of her. And for a while, it has been that way, until her health started to deteriorate. The surprising thing was that her health worsened after her children convinced a doctor to prescribe Maria some medicine to make her feel better. This fact made Captain Mike more suspicious, and he started writing notes on his pad. One day, her daughter, Sophia, came by with a group of people. Maria was told she had to move now. Not only that, but Sophia also made arrangements to sell the house she was living in. Maria was in tears when she told Sophia she did not want to leave her home. But the nurses and Sophia assured her that she would be well taken care of in the nursing home. It was also at this time that Sophia convinced her to sign the document that allowed her to manage her finances so that Maria won't have to worry about making payments. Captain Mike asked Maria how much money she had in her savings account before she went to the nursing home. Her answer blew his mind. It turned out that Maria had a little over a million dollars in her savings account, and it all was drained out in just a few months. Mike now knew that this was a scheme by Maria's kids. At this point, Maria was already crying and shaking with anger at the same time. Wendy tried her best to calm her down. Captain Mike knew he had to do what he can to get to the bottom of this. Captain Mike assured Maria that he would do everything that he can in his power to make sure that her kids will not get away with this. But as Maria and Wendy were about to leave, Maria suddenly collapsed. The police immediately brought her to the hospital. The cops tried to contact Maria's children to inform them they were going to investigate the missing money. When the cops asked them to drop by the situation, they refused to cooperate. Cops were sent to their homes, and nobody opened the door for them. Meanwhile, Maria's health was not improving in the hospital. 
Captain Mike wanted to put more pressure on the children, but it was too late. He received news that Maria had passed away in the hospital. Captain Mike's heart broke for Maria. With Maria gone, this could mean her children will get away with all that they had done. The cops were still unable to find anything that could be used to nail down her kids for what they did. But Captain Mike promised that he would not give up for Maria's sake. Captain Mike sent a message to Maria's kids that she had passed away. He was hoping that this would make them drop their guard. Captain Mike planned to observe their mannerisms during the funeral, and maybe he could get the chance to talk to them after. On the day of the funeral, Captain Mike wore regular clothes so that Maria's kids won't notice that he was a cop right away. But when he got there, he was the surprised one. None of Maria's kids showed up. They really did not care for their mother. At the funeral, Captain Mike met John. They got into talking and John was also disgusted by how Maria's kids had treated his client. He informed Captain Mike that Maria had a last will and that he would be calling them about it soon. Together, they came up with a plan. A few days after the funeral, Maria's children gathered in John's office. John calls Captain Mike to inform them that everyone has arrived. Mike was delighted and told him to stall until the cops arrive. Maria's lawyer kept stalling to give the cops time to arrive. David, Maria's oldest son, started to grow suspicious. He kept asking why was it taking so long. He wanted to know what he would get. The lawyer knew he could not stall any longer without raising any more suspicions, so he started to read from Maria's final will. He then told Maria's kids that they would be getting nothing since they already spent all the money on Maria's account. Before Maria's kids could react, the door opened and Captain Mike and his team stormed in. Maria's children were shocked. While the rest pretended that there was nothing wrong, David thought otherwise. He made a run for it. Some of the cops ran after David. When they caught him, everyone was brought to the precinct. David was furious and struggling while the rest of his siblings were just quiet. They were placed in separate interrogation rooms and they were interrogated one by one. Not one of them budged. All their stories were practically the same and they used the exact same words. It looked like they all agreed beforehand on what to say in case this happens. Captain Mike watched everything and took a special interest in David and Suffy. While Maria's children were being interrogated, their bank records were being accessed by the cops. They immediately noticed that David and Sophia had moved a lot of money recently. This confirms Captain Mike's theory that they were the leaders of this scheme. Captain Mike also noticed that the youngest child, Anna, was more emotional than the others. He planned to use that and play on her emotions. When he faced Anna, he told her that there was foul play involved when it came to Mary's health. It was then that Captain Mike told her a secret. It was the ace he was hiding on his sleeve. When Anna heard about it, she immediately agreed to come clean. It all started when they noticed Maria started to live more lavishly after their father died. David and Sophia were the ones to come up with the plan. They gathered everyone for a secret meeting, and David and Sophia convinced them that if Maria continued to spend at the rate that she was doing, all of them would end up with nothing. They had to secure their share of the money. David and Sophia started to convince their mother that she was not well and that she needed special care. Sophia started drugging their mother in small doses to convince her that this was true. When they found out Maria had more than a million dollars, they felt betrayed that she had kept it all to herself. Anna also admitted that they spent the money on their vacation abroad to celebrate and divided what was left. Captain Mike gathered all of Maria's kids in the conference room. Then, Wendy entered and wheeled Maria inside the room. Although deeply hurt, Maria found herself smiling after seeing everyone's reaction. Everything was planned out. Captain Mike advised Maria to stop taking the medicine that her kids ordered for her. Maria then had to pretend that her health was still deteriorating. The funeral was staged by the cops and Maria's lawyer. Maria then told them everyone was taken out of the will and she will be suing them for all the money that they stole from her. Maria won the case and they had to pay her a million dollars. In the end, Maria got her savings back and continued to enjoy her retirement years.